Hey, Average Jeff here, and today we're going to talk about Chinese carbon rims. Is it worth the buy? Is it worth the price? Let me roll the intro, do a quick unboxing, and then we'll jump right into it. Okay, so let's start with the unboxing. So your typical fare when you get Chinese wheels and Chinese rims cardboard box totally covered in tape for protection it always takes about a month though that's the one thing I would say that's the one drawback is if you're in a rush this is definitely not the way to go but if you have patience it's a great deal I'm telling you they seal these very well very familiar what I'm used to. You always get your bag, and as you can see, they always pack them with the cardboard and keep them separated. So, in your little baggie here, what I got this time, two black skewers. This time, one, two, four bladed spokes, some brake pads, which we'll talk about a little bit later, four extra nipples, and just in case, two valve extenders. All right, now for the rims. It's like So this is the front. Very nice. These are 50 millimeters. I went with the 12K weave instead of the uh, 3K. I went with the shiny. You can see the alloy brake track. This off. Oh, these are really on there. Good protection. I'll try to show you this up close. This is really a beautiful wheel. So the decals that they put on here are literally underneath the uh, gloss coating. So they'll never come off where a lot of times when you get matte wheels, it's a sticker on top. I'm trying to show you the hub. So this is where, this is the real reason why I purchased these rims. These are the new Powerway R51s, brand new, with a carbon, can you see this? It's a carbon core with alloy. It makes this wheel really rather light. That's the bike that these are going on. So again, great packaging. Oh man. Great protection. Now, one of the features I really liked with these is not only the lightweight with the carbon core or spindle, but on the drive side, look at this wide, wide flange. And the reason for that is to make it more stiff on the driver's side. So that extra hub without adding weight, because I can tell you guys, this is really light for a rear wheel with a free hub. And actually sounds, uh, uh, I like that. Powerway's been around forever. They had the R13s, they came out with the R36s, the R39s. They just came out with these for 2018, this 
Poway R51s and I'm so happy that A, I waited. Two, I'm happy that I paid extra for them. Great looking wheel, just what I wanted. Hopefully they perform as good as they look. So one of the things that was very important to me with these new wheels is I wanted to get a wider rim tire. These have an internal diameter of 22.5 millimeters. My old rims, which are the Shimano RS81s, only have an 18 inch diameter, or maybe it's an 18.5. But the biggest I could possibly go with those safely would be a 25 millimeter width tire. I actually wanted to go up to a 28 millimeter tire so that's why I upgraded to these rims with a 22.5 inch inner diameter so I could safely put on the 28 millimeters. And what I went with, I went with the uh, Hutchinson Fusion 5s. I would say they're good for, they're racing, but they're also training. So it's a good all around tire and they're relatively inexpensive. So these are the tires that would be being put on these rims. And I went with inner tubes that have, instead of using the valve expanders, I just bought tubes with 80 millimeter valves, the extra long valves, because I just like them. And last but not least, I'm going to put on the same Shimano cassette that I have on this felt bike because I do not want to mess around with the gearing or anything. So this is the exact same cassette I have on my bike. It's, it is the Shimano 105 and it's 1132. That's it, cassette on. Okay, let's get them on the scale. Let's say 823. 9.84 for the rear. So I just put them on my bike, at least the front tire for now. And I give it a spin and I just open up my brakes just enough. And that's pretty true. It's not rubbing at all right now. There's less than a millimeter gap on either side from the brake pads. The brake pads, as you can see, you know, that's pretty good out of the box. It's a smooth rolling tire right there. Again, the design of the hub is really nice. Straight pull. Really nice, rolls really smooth. So maybe a good sense of before and after, right? So that would be before with the RS81s. And then I'll give you a after. That looks awesome. So overall, that's it. That's the finished product right there.